it's um, slightly humiliating, but, but what else is new, right? So, um, first of all, I want to thank you all because over the last 23 years or so, so many of you have been coming to to see us play, and um, I have to tell you that for pretty much for the last all that while, um, we've always been doing a show for it's either a, a benefit show, it's a show where we're never ever making any money, it's a show to to spread our music, and uh, it's always been towards building something over the last. 20 something years, um, or helping people out, anything that we could do ever, we've always tried to do. And um, for, the, uh, for the first time that I can really remember, um, tonight's show is, though I love to play music, I have to say that my future and career of playing music is entirely in your hands tonight, whether I continue to play music and have the ability to do that is, is in your hands. And, um, so thank you for, for coming your time. I know that it's a really tough time to learn. And, um, so really thank you so much for uh, coming because this one tonight was for me so that I could uh, continue to, uh, to get through this month. So thank you so much. That's not the humiliating part. That's part of it. So, over these years, I, uh, years ago I signed this, this record deal with DreamWorks, and I got a bunch of money, and uh, I pretty much gave it away to uh, anybody uh, in my past to who had helped me, who I could pay back. Uh, my family, you know, anybody I could help, basically. I gave it away. I bought motorcycles for people. I fixed people's houses. I paid off their credit cards. Um, I felt like I had made music for so long, never making money, that all of a sudden I had this money. And uh, I wasn't sure how, it would, how that would affect the music. So like an idiot, I gave it all away. <laughs> I always thought that um, there, would, there would come a time when uh, I felt like I finally earned it and I put out a bunch of records that were, uh, were worthy of people buying them and actually making that money rather than making all that money before it. And um, so over the, as the years went on, I took five years here to make a record, another seven years here to make a record. It's uh, you know to to sustain living for that long. It was I wasn't really in the music business as much as I was in the uh, buying houses and selling houses business. Recently, the last thing that I put all of my money into, uh, which I just found out a couple of days ago, I got a call and, um, from this guy who was supposed to be building me a house down in Nashville telling me, you might want to call somebody, I just passed your place and your, your land that is for sale. So, um, the short of the story is that somehow I uh, missed a bunch of papers because I'm an airhead for the last bunch of years. In, in order to write songs from a certain place that's not about organization and control, I found for myself that I had to let go of so much of that kind of control in order to just let songs come. And with that, I brought chaos financially into my life the last bunch of years. This was the last little hope that I had this little land and stuff that I was building. So they get a call and say, by the way, you no longer have that land. And uh, not even that somebody bought it for me, but they, I guess I missed a bunch of papers somewhere. And uh, I don't have it. So there's a good thing about this story. 
I walked out of my house and I was kind of shaking my head going, what? What just happened? Um, and I, I, I was kind of eyeing up the wall, seeing if I could figure out where the beam was and where it wasn't so I could run my head as fast as I could. I didn't want to hit a beam, but just, you know, break a little she run. Um, and instead, I walked out of my house and uh, I just died laughing. I couldn't help laugh at the, the fact that I have nothing and yet I finally in my life have everything. My children just graduated, my son graduated high school, my daughter graduated eighth grade today. Thank you so much. Thank you. 